Now we come to the showcase discipline, off-grid with Tesvolt. Precise planning is required in the off-grid system, precise implementation, there is no safety net, no backstop. We have to plan here with total accuracy. This topic is pretty exceptional, because when we are off-grid, with no grid connection, for example when a mine has to be built in Africa, a gold mine or something like that, or we have a mountain hut right up high in the mountains, there's no cable and somehow have to get energy there. The simplest variant is to do this via a diesel generator. Of course, a diesel generator makes a lot of noise, a lot of fumes. You have to service it all the time. You have to bring diesel up to this hut in the mountains or thousands of kilometers into the desert. Oil has to be brought, diesel transported or the like. So it's extremely challenging with diesel systems, but it is an adequate way of providing energy. A diesel system. Diesel. Now we are trying to reduce this diesel consumption by coupling it with a photovoltaic installation. Yes, a photovoltaic installation. And that then ensures that the consumption, this is called a diesel hybrid plant, that ensures the consumption of the diesel generator is reduced, because there is more energy that can supply the consumer and the consumption of the diesel generator is minimized. And yet, this diesel generator still supplies the grid. What drives the grid, creates the grid, is the diesel generator. But then we say, okay, when there are, for example, peak loads in operation, say I'm operating the crane, or I simply need more energy than this photovoltaic installation is producing, the diesel is currently in a kind of economy mode. Then the diesel needs to spring back into action immediately and give full power. That is to say, it goes back and forth and has to balance out continuous fluctuation in the grid. Whether that's because suddenly there is more demand for energy or the photovoltaic installation cannot supply the energy it should, due to clouds or something like that. So this generator has always been started up and shut down. Its optimum efficiency is at around 30%. That is ratio of consumption diesel to output in kilowatt hours. Now we are going to expand our system with a Tesvolt battery. A Tesvolt battery is added. Now here's what happens. The diesel still creates the grid and it has an additional energy source in the photovoltaic installation. But the storage system collects the excess energy that is there and at times when the consumer needs more electricity or more power is needed, it can provide this without the diesel generator needing to be additionally started up. The storage system is responsible for reducing the consumption of the diesel generator and allowing it to operate at its optimum efficiency, thereby optimizing the overall system. We can see now why it's called a diesel hybrid system optimization. And when you reach the point that this, the storage system, is operating at its optimum efficiency, you can save up to 60% in operating costs. Off-grid, classic off-grid, if we want to get away from diesel, diesel is loud, emits fumes, we have to service it, we have to bring the fuel to a spot that is really hard to reach in the mountains or in the desert or sometimes even on a ship, anywhere where energy is provided by a diesel generator. So people try to find different ways, and that is our way. We are offering an off-grid system where we supply the consumer, the relevant industry, whatever that might be, via a battery. In this case, the battery is what creates the grid. 
Again, Tesvolt. Tesvolt with its inverter generates the grid. Now here's what happens. In the classic case, it's a photovoltaic installation we add. This produces energy, feeds the storage system and first and foremost, of course, supplies the consumer. This is the classic off-grid system. In this system, as before, all parts, of course, have to be in sync. They have to be planned, perfectly coordinated with each other, so that nothing can go wrong here. To be sure there isn't suddenly too little power available, everything has to fit together perfectly. This makes it very challenging. There's no safety net, no backstop. Instead, you have to configure the parts to each other. This off-grid system is, of course, significantly better for the environment. We don't have fumes, the noise of the diesel generator, the consumption isn't there. You can still add the diesel generator into the system, but it is important to note that would be a possible add-on. It isn't needed. So the main combination is this. The storage system provides the grid and is coupled with additional energy sources. That could be a diesel generator or a CHP, a combined heat and power plant, for example which could be powered by rapeseed oil or something. For example, in the Alps, the German Alpine Club does not permit diesel being used in the Alpine conservation areas, so it might be powered by rapeseed oil. This is added in if at points there's too little energy being produced. The battery is empty and the consumer requires energy. In summary, the benefits of off-grid with the Tesvolt system. First point and right at the top of the list, a secure, low-maintenance power supply. Second point, you can couple the system with renewable energies, photovoltaic installations or something similar. And third, which is beneficial to everyone, less noise, lower emissions.